Another day, another story. Long post, but damn I need to vent. My mill is staying with us, for a very long stretch, after we just had our first child. She's always been a little difficult to handle at times, very pushy without realizing it, patronizing when she thinks she's just helping, and will talk over you in a heartbeat but gets incredibly upset if she's interrupted. We have two dogs and she's never been a fan of dogs, I don't necessarily trust people that don't like slash or bullies to animals, but that's a different post. Our one-year-old cattle dog can be a bit much and I've told her time and again how to deal with her jumping and pawing at her for attention, and she doesn't listen. Instead while I was holding my baby the other day the pup was sitting at Mill's feet and started pawing at her leg asking for pets. She thinks it's her way of saying I want to go out and ignores me when I repeatedly tell her she's just asking for attention. She screamed at her no. I'm not taking you out. The pup cowered for a second then went in slowly to try and lick her while stretching her paw out for attentions and my mill smacked her across the face. My blood pressure soared and it took every ounce of control I had not to scream at her, instead I said as calmly as I could please do not hit her when she's just asking you for attention. Mill started in with whatever excuse she was going to make and I stopped her and said if you just scratch her ear she'll calm down and flop at your feet. She rolled her eyes and started scratching her and what did the pup do? Exactly what I said it would. She got very quiet and didn't say much to me for a while. The day after we came home from the hospital we realized our entire kitchen had been rearranged. When I asked her about it, she told me it was because nothing made sense. I told her it makes sense to the people who live here and she started in with what all was improved. I told her to please not move anything else around without asking us. This morning my wife and I got up and the baby was still sort of sleeping so we decided to put him back down to try and get a little more rest. She said she'd take him downstairs so we could sleep. I needed to feed the dogs before laying back down so I got their food and put it down. I popped my head onto the nursery where she was rummaging around, a bit noisily, and told her in a tone just above a whisper that I'd put the dog's food down, please watch them and pick up what they don't eat. She immediately turned and started shushing me like a five-year-old saying he's not asleep yet, I said me talking this loud isn't going to disrupt him but she just kept up with the shushing, finger to her lips the whole time. I just turned around and walked away, I didn't have the energy. She talks as loud as she wants no matter the time about whatever she sees on her phone, her own family drama, or some obscure story about something tangentially related to what we're trying to have a conversation about. These are just a few instances from the past week. There have been countless times where my decisions or choices have been questioned, disputed, or flat out ignored. I'm not a confrontational person, never have been and I've never been comfortable with it but I'm tired of being questioned and disrespected in my own house. My wife is fully aware of all of this and is trying to act as a buffer where she can, but neither of us have much extra energy for this crap. That is it for the story, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you, and having you here was a privilege to me. Please support the channel by subscribing.